Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Daniela here. As you can see, I've got something a little bit different for you folks today, and it is some of my sticker storage. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of jump right in. Um, I'm going to move these off to the side just for a second, and we're going to start with these reusable sticker books. So these I use in a couple different ways. Um, I have my weather stickers, uh, most of them at least, um, back to back to front on the reusable sticker paper um, or sticker books here and then at the end of this book I've actually added in all the extra scripts from freebies and um, just leftovers from kits so a bunch of the date night ones a bunch of like do the laundry um, sheets that I want to use but don't necessarily have um, too many of them left technically speaking. Um, and again, leftovers from kits and stuff. And then this book is the same idea where it's just kind of some extra stickers that I've had lying around that I just need to use from here before I use from my other album that is full of scripts. Um, so I'm working my way through some of these ones. It's tricky because they don't always have what I need necessarily. So that's why I do have this one as well. But I really do enjoy them for that, and I'm slowly going to be putting in, I've got a couple more of these as well, um, that I'm going to be putting in like icons and other things like that. Um, I do prefer when I only put them on one side of the page, because then when I go in to take one off, I'm not peeling off the back ones. Um, so hopefully one day I will only have one sided <laughs> if I use them, and that's what I've been doing. I've been getting a lot better at using these before I rush into this um, this album so um, yeah so I'm, I'm really happy with how I'm storing my scripts and I keep them like this on my shelf so I pull these ones first and then I look in here if it doesn't have the exact words and because I am that kind of person I did alphabetize them to be fair I did work at a library for like 15 years or multiple different libraries for 15 years so I kind of have a good idea of how the alphabet works because um, I was the one putting away all the books, reading labels, putting them away, you know. Um, so I did alphabetize them as best I could, um, just so that if I'm looking for a specific phrase or a specific word, I go to the beginning of that phrase or word and I know exactly where things are. These are also alphabetized, um, so PM before PR, this week, this week, these ones I do by font style. So this is more of a simple script and then my cursive goes after that, etc, etc. And I do have some quotes and little sheets back here that are still pretty full. So I didn't want to take them off the pages. Um, I do also have a few um, of these mini ones with my character stickers and little icons and stuff. So I love flipping through here and I have different shops that I purchased from so I keep them in these books and it's really handy to just flip through and know what I'm looking for. Along with those um, albums I do have the 4 by 6 ones. Um, I do have more than one. Um, this one is from the Prairie Planner. Um, I should mention this album is from Alley Cat's Shop. Um, this sticker album is actually from Once More With Love and then you can interchange the covers which was kind of cool so I kind of liked that so I can change it out to whatever I want it to be and this one is also from the Prairie Planner. So this one is how I house my kits. So I've got a lot of extra kits which I'm slowly but surely working through um, just using using them for memory keeping um, so that's a great Halloween kit and using my washi to go with it because this is just just the full boxes. So I use these to house, um, this one is for my seasonal kits. I have other ones with functional boxes, um, some foil that I have not purchased a lot of anymore because I just, I need to use what I have. Um, and so that's how I store these um, vertical kits. The next kind of sleeve um, storage that I have are these binders. So I have a couple of these binders. These ones are from Chrissy Ann Designs. And this is how I kind of organize um, kits that I'm going to be using for the rest of the year. So like for May and this one's later in May and May and stuff like that. I have pre-planned quite a bit. And then my hourly kits that I want to use are in here as well. So I've got lots of fun ones coming up. Um, and I've split them up. 
halfway through the year. So I've got this one, and then I got a second one, and then I also store, because my hourly kits, especially the, let's see here, the Planner Kate ones, they're quite large. They fit perfectly in one of these sleeves. Um, they're a bit larger, so they don't fit in the 4x6 albums. So these ones I keep in a binder like this, in a protective sleeve, and then I can see what I'm what I'm looking for. And I know, oh, okay, this is what it looks like. Some of these do have two pages, which is totally fine. Um, I know kind of the general idea. I usually keep the full box sheets up front so I can kind of see what it looks like. And it's really easy for me to flip through. Now, because I am doing more of decorative journaling nowadays, I do house my sticker store, or my decorative stickers and some bigger quotes in... Um, this album is from Alicia Plan's shop, um, and so I've got my decorative stickers. I love these hummingbirds. I need to use these, um, and just her mini kits and all of her different types of kits. And I think I have a couple of quotes from Planners Anonymous, as well as a couple of sheets, I think, yes, from Pretty Little Studios in here as well. So just some deco that kind of fit in here. I might actually slip these out and put them back into this folder that I have from Coffee Monster Co. And it is chocked full of deco leftover from kits from years ago. I've got some of the journaling um, journaling kits from Planner Monkey Co. in here, uh, Deco, and these are kind of separated a bit seasonally. These ones are just kind of neutral, or like you, I can use them anytime, and they're not florally. These ones are a bit more seasonal. I like these poppies. I cannot wait to use those for uh, Remembrance Day, and then some more fall ones. Super pretty. And then again, lots of different um, like spring ones, and I got some summer ones back here as well. Like these, these are beautiful. Great saturation on those, and rainbows and sea life, which I kind of associate with summer. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I have these ones separated. So it's like fall, winter. Winter's back here somewhere. I don't have very much at the moment. There, there. There's a couple in there. So I got fall and winter, spring and summer in here, and then just some other kind of deco that's less florally, I guess, um, in this folder. So I really like being able to, again, flip through, find a quick quote, find a quick um, journaling mini kit, um, because like I said, I do use these in my journal. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of how I store those and it's super handy. It's nice and compact. Like I can fit a lot of sheets in here. I do keep her, um, more functional stickers back here as well. Just kind of by sheet. I did amalgamate a couple of them. So there's some of the flower ones with these purple boxes. Um, but then the, the sheet will go behind or can have other ones like that behind it and that as well. And then it goes into these ones. So yeah, that is kind of the update for my sticker storage at the moment. Um, I don't know if you guys were interested. I was just like, oh, I haven't done one of these for like ages. Why not share again? So these are the different ways that I store my stickers. What ways do you store your stickers? I'm curious to know. So let me know in the comments down below how you store your stickers. Um, did you find a system that works for you? This works for me. It has expanded probably farther than I would have liked. Um, but I'm trying to use my stash and it's been going pretty good so far. Um, but yeah, how do you store your stickers and what are some of your favorite stickers at this time? I'm curious. Let me know. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one and blend with me's and other things like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.